This tutorial has been cut into three parts. Part 1 is about the basic knowledge in Photoshop elements. Part 2 and 3 are about the practice itself. Hello and welcome to my tutorial. I'm Martin W. Laos. Here we are in the concluding part of this tutorial. I take the zoom tool. See how damaged this area is. We can fix that with the spot healing tool. In fact it is three times faster than the real speed. I go even further inside with the zoom tool. I now use the clone stamp tool. Generally speaking, I am filling the white holes. Okay, now our color. I'm working on the texture. I move to the left and keep on cloning. Now on the edge of her color. I kind of redraw the shadows. Her neck now. Cloning as needed. Moving to the left, I rearrange the surface. And I reshape the pleats here and there. Let's see how I've done so far. Back to the hand tool to see it all. I zoom in once more. With the clone stem tool above her shoulder, I remove some useless shadow. I reduce the brush size to some 20 pixels. And I work on the pleats. Now I'll make a selection to straighten her shoulder. I set the feather to 3 pixels. And I surround the area in question. And I come back to the starting point. I fix the edge. Always with the clone stamp tool, I improve the area. I deselect and take the spot healing tool to improve the shadows above or shoulder. And I drag the mouse like this. Back to the hand tool to see it all. I zoom in around her eye. I now take the spot healing brush, reduce the brush size to 10 pixels and draw over the scratches here and there. Now on the background. I now take the clone stem tool and repair the texture around her hair. I zoom in. And I take the clone stem tool.
Little by little and patiently, I manage to restore what has been lost. Now a delicate procedure. I make sure that we don't see any demarcation at all between her temple and her hair. I move to the right and up to work on the background and her hair. I go downward to continue my job. I go downward a bit, finalize her hair, little by little. Back to the handle. I zoom in once more. What I'm going to do here is to roughly fill the white areas simply because too many details were lost and afterward I will fabricate a shadow so it won't look fake between her cheek and the background. To fabricate the shadow I will use the burn tool. We'll see about this tool in a moment. Back to the hand tool. Then I create a shadow between her hair and color, shown here in green. So I make a selection. Then I take the burn tool. And apply a few clicks to darken the selected area, like this. I deselect. Back to the hand tool. Now I take the polygonal lasso, set the feather to 5 pixels, and I hit enter. I zoom in, and I go back to the polygonal lasso. I surround the dark area of her cheek. I close the selection and I make a copy of the area with layer, new, layer via copy. A new layer has appeared. I click on the eyeball to show you how the clone area appears alone. I click on the move tool. Make sure the auto select layer box is unchecked. And simply click and drag these pixels to the right. To flip these pixels, image, rotate, flip layer horizontal. I move it where it should go. To rotate these pixels, image, free transform. I stretch one corner by holding a key down. I confirm the transformation by hitting the green check mark. Now I erase the unnecessary pixels, especially on the right side. I check my brush size and start to erase very softly. Back to the hand tool. This layer is no longer necessary. So I take layer and merge down. These two layers now make one. I zoom in, take the clone stem tool and begin to reshape the pleat. The white color needs to be improved. So I take the polygonal lasso and surround it.
Now I take the burn tool and drag my mouse to darken the left side only. And I deselect. Back to the hand tool to see the difference. And now the right side. Always the same principle. I clone here and there to improve the background. Now improving our color. I reduce the brush size to clone the dark edge. And I continue the cloning. Since this area is very damaged, I kind of feel free to create a few pleats on her blouse. Always the same old tool, the clone stamp tool. This green area will be darkened. Once more, I take the burn tool to darken only what's inside the selection. And I deselect. I zoom in once again. I take the polygonal lasso. Yet another selection. This time to straighten her blouse. I choose the clone stamp tool. Adjust the brush size and clone the shadow a few seconds. I deselect and wait for the comparison. Back to the hand tool. I zoom in once more and I choose a polygonal lasso. This time I make a selection to brighten an area next to her color. I take the burn tool and switch to the dodge tool. I draw a couple of strokes and deselect and I move to the right. Another selection, this time to darken a small area under the color with once again the burn tool. I reduce the brush size and I draw inside the selection. I deselect and I apply the same principle. A few strokes only to darken the left side of this selection. I deselect. I zoom in once again. And now the final selection to create a shadow between her neck and color. I apply some strokes inside the selection. Let's see how I've done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.